Yo, what up, do everyone? It's Shreif Khan, and welcome to the market update of Crypto Affairs. It's 31st of May, early in the morning, and that's the reason that I'm not tagging everyone and putting this recording. So, whenever you wake up, you have uh, you know clear insight what's coming in your way uh, for the rest of the week. So, uh, let's start with the Bitcoin here. We have our lows at 25,800 levels. We have our highs at 28,500 level. A pretty good move. It completed all of our, you know, LTF ranges. And now uh, I just dream of Fibonacci from this level to this level. And uh, as I already updated on my Twitter, that we're going to be seeing some, you know, bleeding in the altcoins. And uh, just after that, we saw that uh, bloody red candle. We are coming back, retesting this bigger 0.5 level. And there's a chance that we may go down towards 0.5 level but there's a catch there's a uh, internal liquidity buildup which is happening right about here at 28,143 so please be aware of that we may go back up grab this liquidity here put you uh, traders in the you know uh, literally induce you in this uh, fake move that we should long here and then they'll be you know dropping the market back to the 0.5 level because there are a couple of news lined up if you're not aware of that we have uh, the job openings coming out today uh, tomorrow we're gonna be having the ism manufacturing pmi on like first june and then on friday we have non-farm payrolls and unemployment rates so dollar is going to be you know really volatile and we will have a trickle down effect on uh, the gold and you know the certain market so be aware of that because bdc will be reflecting the same uh, stuff after that you know news pop up and whatever the uh, psyche of those you know traders uh, will gonna be you know imprinting on the charts well uh, don't get really you know wind up in that tornado so uh that's what's uh, gonna be happening we have this liquidity build up at 28 143 and uh coming back down the only confluence i have at the moment is at 0 0.5 uh the early 27,000 levels uh if we grab this uh, level first well uh there's a good chance that we may you know uh position our longs from this level and then easily build up from here also and then you know TP at around here when we touch back to the 28,000 levels. Uh, so far, I've already uh, had my uh, long setup settled up in mentoring launch. So I'm pretty much waiting for that. I'm not really in a hurry because even if it goes uh, from the upside or come back, you know, uh, to the downside and then move up, I'm going to be making it as a win-win situation for me and my mentoring launch members. So all good with that stuff. Uh, moving forward, we're going to have a look on Ethereum okay so we had our move uh, from 1800 levels back to our bos we breached it retested it and then you know coming back pretty much you know uh going sideways at around 1900 levels so uh what's the catch here we're gonna be touching the ethereum's uh liquidity build out which is right about here at this point at 1933 i'm gonna mark it i'm gonna mark it as a liquidity build up all right so uh it will again put some inducement here in this levels and then we'll be coming back down to a bos at 1878 absorbing the liquidity so be aware of this uh, level again let it place move first and then you're gonna be you know trading in that zone so uh, don't get carried away by just you know the false moves so be aware of uh, these kind of moves already uh, after that we have our mighty dollar which made the equal lows where we want it to be i was discussing that uh, let me show you on a 60 minute chart here uh, i was discussing that in my last meeting with you know members on my uh, you know uh, google meet a day before yesterday that we're going to be coming back down to this 103.4 or 103. Uh, any anywhere around the mid levels of 103 and this will uh, shake a market a little bit it will also going to be you know pushing the usdt dominance already so we are in a range of testing this this will imply uh, as a confluence for the bleeding of arts and if we break this and come back to this liquidity at 7.6 uh, this will push the market to the levels of 0 0.5 which we already discussed on the lower side all right so uh, i'm pretty much eyeing on that what's going to happen on uh, friday when it comes to the dollar index and uh, let's see how the correction will gonna be you know play out uh, as soon as we close 
low than that we are in for a ride to these levels at around 102.7 and then so on so uh, that's what's happening in the dollar and then we have a gold chart uh, it's uh, already showing us a really beautiful movements though I'm gonna show you here the market sessions uh, the session breaks all right so on the Monday we had our you know market pretty much going sideways uh, longs were building up anticipating that we may go up uh, to this level directly and then we had a shakeout on Tuesday which we already pretty much anticipating and then we went up hitting our POIs which were at around these levels already you know minted in like uh, just a couple of hours already so in this zone so uh, right now we are having a bullish London and a bullish uh, New York and then it pretty much closed sideways Tokyo just open and we are having a sideways move uh, we have our order block there's a high chance that we may not come back down directly we're gonna be touching this order block and then moving back down and having a correction of these levels. I already gave my POI in my mentoring launch, so if you are missing out on that, make sure to join it. And uh, you're gonna be pretty much minting uh, the gold and euro USD setups uh, because I gave these, uh, you know, two setups in terms of uh, up forex apart from the cryptocurrency. So that's what's happening with the market right now okay so that's all about it and i'm gonna be seeing you soon if there's any query if there's any confusion do let me know whenever you wake up uh see this video you're gonna have an idea where the market is headed and like i always say don't let the market surprise you make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so that i can get what i wanted i'm gonna see you soon take care